Ali Wali. And the live on Facebook. Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. Um, just, so just, give me, just give me a second, please. Just, just I'm getting it loaded into the Facebook and all that. Oh, is it going live? Is it? Yeah, yeah, it goes live. Yeah. Oh, I say. That's live on Facebook on Friday, and it's not. It's not. Um, it's not Bank Holiday Friday this Friday. It's uh, it's oh. another one. It, it's a special occasion today. What's it called? Ba -ba 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 I don't know. Happy Bashkiri. <laughs> I'm not very good at religion. Um, right. Can everyone see me? Okay. Lovely. So, Are we all muted? Yes, you are ready to go on you. Okay. I can't hear you very well. So, so that's my alarm to say that we're starting. Okay, so welcome to yoga. Um, we're just going to start off with um, getting our, um, our brain and body and mind in the same place. So we're just going to um, do some my, a bit of meditation um, for five minutes to get to get us into it. Um, before we do that, we're just going to do um, um, some chanting, the, the mantra, A-U-M. A -U -M. So the A represents the waking state. The U represents the dream state and the M um, represents a deep sleepless sleep, dreamless sleep. So we're going to use our mouth. So the OM, the OM, um, is 80% and the M is 20%. So give it a go. There's no right or wrong. It's just about playing and about getting the good vibrations going and just relaxing. Okay, so taking a, a deep breath in. Ah, oh. We're going to do that two more times, but I'm going to ask you to um, do something with your hands now as well. So we're going to go into the Vayu Mudra, um, which is um, your first finger down, yeah, and and you just you just you just pushing it into place with your thumbs, yeah, and you got your fingers out straight. So we're going to do that two more times. Relax, enjoy it. Take a deep breath in. Feel that stomach. Ah. Now, let's see if we can make this the longest one. So, a deeper breath in. Ah. That's lovely. Well done. So, just rub your fingers together. Place your hands above your head, look up. And just place that energy over your eyes and just spread it all around you any which way you want to. That's beautiful. Okay, so we're gonna do um, the, the, the first, uh, the Bastika, which is just, just basic meditation. It will be a guided meditation. So um, get yourselves comfy. If you can sit cross-legged, do if you can't sit beneath your feet any which way you want to it really doesn't matter and um, as long as you're comfortable and you've got a straight neck and back so I'm going to stay with the same Vayu Mudra um, which is really good but I'll tell you about that in a minute so now what we'll do is we'll just get the time started for five minutes so you can start breathing and I'll okay oh. we've got some nice relaxing music going on if you can hear it There we go. So what we're going to do is focus on the breath. So close your eyes, take a deep breath in, filling your lungs. Making it nice and fluid. About two, two and a half seconds in, two and a half seconds out. It's important that you have a straight back and neck and that you enjoy yourselves. So whilst you breathe in, imagine that positive energy filling your body, smiling as you release all that negative energy as you breathe out. So on the out breath, 
and cleansing yourself of any toxins, any negative energy that you've been holding on to. And you will, you will begin to slouch. So when you do, just lift your sternum up, slide your shoulders back and down. Erect your spine as much as you can whilst relaxing everything else. I know when I've got the perfect posture because my head does a little wobble when it sits perfectly on top of my spine. I know we breathe all the time, but when you do it intentionally and with purpose, there's so many benefits. It strengthens your lungs, it helps with allergies, asthma, respiratory diseases, thyroid tonsils, and you know, most importantly, it calms the mind. Really, really relax your stomach muscles. And your diaphragm. And if you get any negative thoughts popping in, just let them go. Focus back onto your breathing. Tell yourself that you're safe, that you're safe. All is well. Relax all those muscles around your eyes. Let any tension just dissolve. It's lovely. Well done. So keeping your eyes closed, taking your hands above your head, give them a rub. And you'll notice that your hands are warmer than that. Well, my hands are warmer than what they were five minutes ago. So it's really good for your circulation. So I'm just going to place all that lovely energy again over my eyes. I open my eyes in the cave of my hands. I love it. And I'm just going to massage all that beautiful energy all over myself. That's beautiful. Lovely. Well done. Okay, so hopefully you'll be able to see me. Let's see if you know Right. I might have So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the sitting and and having a doing toe curls, I'm just gonna angle you down a little bit to see whether that's better. I'll get it right one day. There we go. Okay, so you can see my feet. So I'm sitting nice and tall still. I'm not collapsing in my back, so nice and tall. I've got my hands here for, um, for support, it's a kickstand. 
lifting my chest. And all I'm doing now, we're going to do the super slow. We're just going to curl our toes, just our toes. You can do your fingers at the same time if you want to. And know that the hinge, okay? So I've still curled downwards. They're hinging. And I'm going to release them. And it could create cramp because you're moving muscles that you've not moved for a while. So I'm just curling my toes and uncurling my toes. Really slowly. Because if we do it fast, then we kind of miss the journey. So, you know, try and bend every single knuckle. Don't normally talk about knuckles on our own, on our toes. Oh, five, six. We're going to do about eight to ten of those. Nice and slowly. Okay, so now what we're going to do is, again, very slowly, I'm just going to push my feet away from me, okay? And I'm just going to leave them there. So what I'm doing now is I'm shortening the muscles of, of my back, of my legs, and they're going to know what to expect, okay? So I've done, I'm still there holding it for a few seconds, and now I'm going to very slowly get my toes towards my, oh, I can feel that, towards my head. So just stretching out your calves and the back of your legs now. And now you're shortening your muscles at the front of your legs. So again, super slow, we're gonna do that. Forwards and backwards. Okay, so this is really good for maintaining healthy joints. It strengthens, you've got allergy, you know, um, it's really good for the nervous system and obviously it's brilliant for circulation. And um, you know, I did falls prevention and the ankles are the ones that um, we need to keep mobile. Otherwise, as we get older, we start shuffling and that's when we have falls. That's lovely. So we just, uh, this is my favourite one. We're just going to do some clapping with our feet. So we're just going to clap, clap, clap. Um, because um, along the sides is where your spine is. And we're just waking up our spine. So obviously we're all sitting nice and tall and clapping with our feet. Beautiful. Okay. So um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do rotations. So ankle rotations, we're going to do big circles. Again, if you can see how slowly I'm going, we're not in a rush. Um, because all we're trying to do is get a full range of movement for you. Yeah. So, you know, if there's an area where you feel a bit stuck, then spend some time there. Three, four. So once you've warmed up, you can you can go a bit faster if you want to. And then the other way. That's lovely. Okay. So the next one we're going to do is we're going to um, keep one leg straight. I'm going to take, I'm going to do mirror image. So if you take your right leg and just bring it up towards you. So your bottom half, can you, do you know what the tree pose looks like? Um, you, you're standing in mind pose and you bring your leg up. So it's kind of like a sitting tree pose. So what you're doing is I'm just pushing down um, my knee. To, to help it um, get some mobility. So I'm pushing it down, and then I'm going to very slowly bring it up towards me. So if you, when you bring it up towards you, just give it a little hug, and then have that beautiful stretch in your lower back. Beautiful for sciatica. So you're gonna give it a hug, and then you're gonna take it back down again, and bring it up again. Okay, for those of you that can, you can place your foot on top of your other thigh for a different kind of stretch. A deeper stretch. Oh, oh, it feels beautiful, doesn't it? So we're going to do about 10. 
That's lovely. But when you've had enough, I think that's about 10. And then on the last one, just going to give it a hug, see if you can give your knee a kiss and uh, thank you for all the hard work it's been doing for you. Okay, so back to um, centre, we're going to now take her other leg, bring it towards you. So you're sitting in that um, tree pose and you're just pushing your knee <clears throat> down just to wake up the hips a little bit. And then you're going to bring it towards you and you're going to give yourself a big hug and really feel that beautiful stretch in your bottom in the lower back that's lovely so now you know what you're doing you're going down and you're coming up so once you've done a couple of those if you want to you can take your foot on top of your thigh if you can to um, increase your range of movement <clears throat> so we're going to do a couple more. And this exercise that we're doing now is is the warm up for um, the butterfly. So let's let's move on to that one now. So um, yeah, feet together if you can. Sitting tall. So sitting tall first, and then you pull your knee, your feet towards you. Grab your feet if you can. I'm going to walk my bottom and bottom. So I'm doing my bottom shuffle to try and close this gap between my groin and my feet. So again, your posture is really important. So we're just going to flap. So we're going to do this for about two minutes. I'm just going to flap. Lifting your sternum. In the yoga class that I attend, attend there's um there's a lady there that can that can get her knees to slap the floor as she goes. And she's like going bang, 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 bang. I'm not quite there. <laughs> I don't think I ever will be actually. I haven't got her genes, unfortunately. <laughs> we can only do what we can, but the more we relax, the more we can do. It's like magic. So if you let go of any expectations that you have of yourself. And your body, that's where the magic happens, where you just enjoy the journey. So this is really good to um, reduce the excess fat around the hips and the thighs. So as you're getting warmer, you can maybe flap a bit bigger. You can imagine being a butterfly and what colour should be and where you flap to and where you go and visit. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm just going to come out of that. Give my legs a little shake. And I just want to do some twisting exercises because um, I've got a bit of a, a, a sore spine. So um, I'm just going to um, take my right leg and place it under my left. And I'm going to find sitting on my foot. And then I'm going to take my other leg and just, just bring it underneath. Not quite sure what I'm doing, but I just want to twist. So I've got, I've got this here, the setting stone there. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn and look over to my right. And I'm just gonna do some gabal with these. Going 
going to do about 20. That's lovely. Okay, so I'm just coming off my feet. So I'm going to bend my left leg in and I'm just going to sit on it. And then I'm going to bring my other leg on top, sitting nice and tall. And I'm just going to twist and look over my left shoulder. And if you don't know what Kabbalah with you is, you're just snotting, you're breathing in and just forcing out all that air. That's lovely. I'm going to do that one more time so I really enjoyed it. <laughs> so bring your right foot, sit on it. Bring your left leg over, sitting nice and tall, twisting. Take your hand and open that chest. That's lovely. Now, before we come out of this, what I'm going to ask you to do is I'm just going to ask you to sit nice and tall. And as you breathe out, I just want you to flop over your legs. Place your hands there for support. Feel the beautiful stretch in your legs. That's lovely. Out of this you come. Absolutely amazing for sciatica. Okay, so now you're going to sit on your left foot. Take your right leg over, sitting nice and tall, twist. And off you go. Beautiful. So just come back to center and take a deep breath in. And forward you go. Absolutely. So, what we're going to do next is we're going to work um, our stomach and our waist. It's called grinding. Um, so, you're going to clasp your hands, and you know, once you've warmed up, you'll go deeper. But in the in the meantime, what we're going to do is we're going to do circles. And we are aiming towards our feet, and then we're going to come back again. Doing a circle and then just doing so you're trying to get to your feet. And as you lean back, you're working your abdominals, going back as far as you can for you, nice and slowly, keeping your bottom cheeks on the floor. Something's happened to my screen. I'm not sure if you can still see me. That's three. Eight, four. So again, don't be shy. Your stomach loves working out. So lean back a little bit more if you can. It's okay to get a little bit of a belly wobble on when you challenge yourself as you're getting warmer. Straight arms. And you'll notice your range of movement. Can you see how close you can get to your feet now than what you couldn't do a minute ago? It's magic. That's lovely. And now the other way. So if you've had your feet flopping forward, but if you can see my feet, then you know bring them towards you. You know, just this just angle, just change it a little bit, and then you'll work different parts of your body. So I've got my feet tense, toes towards my head. So as I'm doing this, I'm getting a lovely stretch in my calves as well as I lean forwards. Three, nice big circles, really leaning backwards with a smile. And do two more, make them the best ones that you can. 
Going over your feet all the way back. Slow it down if you want to. That's lovely, well done. Okay. So the next one is we're going to touch our toes. So we've got um, our feet out. And so you're going to go, I don't know if I've got any room here. So you're going to take your arms out straight and you're going to twist and you're aiming, you're aiming. <laughs> We've got intentions to go for our foot. So you're going to aim your foot. So you're leaning. So you're going to come up, do it with your breath, super slow, breathe out as you go forwards. You can look behind your, your back hands as you go forwards. Remember, this is a all full body workout. So if you're doing this, really stretch your arms out. Open your chest. Know that it's going to benefit for you, benefit you for the rest of the day, these exercises. And we do this standing up later as well, so um, you'll be even more flexible soon. Keep breathing. I'm going to do two more on either side. Looking at your back hand. That's lovely, well done. Okay. And, and we're just going to now put our hands on the floor and go forwards. Just going to see how far you can go. Stay there. I mean, there's some people that can come down onto their elbows. There's some people that can put their chest on the floor or to have their jeans. We can do, just do as much as we can for us and smile and love our bodies. <laughs> what else can we do? A video for, right, lovely. Bend your legs in. So we're all going to sit, if you can, in um, a struggle sitting with Vajrasana, which is on, on your bottom. Yeah, so it's, it's nice and tall. And you're going to um, make fists. You're going to place them quite um, forcefully um, on, on your, on your um, tummy. Um, but obviously don't do this if you've got any hernias or stomach problems or, um, yeah, so be gentle with yourself. Um, so you're pushing in, you're taking a deep breath in. As you breathe out, whilst looking forward still, so keeping your eyes up, you're just going to lean forwards and let gravity put all that weight and massage your internals. So you can take a deep breath in here whilst you're here. It is a little bit uncomfortable. And up you go. So we're gonna do that one more time. So you put your thumb on the inside of your fist, place it in your tummy, just, just beneath your belly button. Take a deep breath in, nice and tall. And as you lean forwards with an erect spine, Looking up, breathing. And then you come. And then the next one is uh, just flat hands, one on top of the other. Push it in and do exactly the same. So you're looking up, taking a deep breath in, pushing your belly out. That's lovely. So this activates the pancreas. So we'll do that one more time. With flat hands, forward you go. So it produces more insulin in your body. So it's, it's really beneficial for improving diabetes. It's also benefits of um, stomach problems and the heart. So it is a bit of a 
a brilliant thing to do. That's beautiful. Lovely. Okay, whilst we're sitting here, um, I, I love I love doing this one. So I'm just going to show you from the side. Is um, you're just going to push your hips forwards, and you can put your hands behind you to support your lower back. Open your chest. Let your arms fall backwards so you're really opening. Now just tuck your chin in to support yourself. And if you can, you know, have a, have a wobble with your hand, the flap and see where, whether you can find um, a foot or a heel. Doesn't matter if you can't. The adaptation to stay here if, if you can't go any further. It's just, it's just a beautiful move to... Uh... To open up the front of your body. So just a couple more breaths if you can. That's beautiful. So that's we've done that. We're just going to come into child pose. So we're just going to sit. Sit down. And you're just going to fold yourself forward and just relax. You can place your hands to make pillows for your forehead if you want to, you can have your hands by your side. Just enjoy that big, yummy, deep breath in. That gives a natural massage to your lower back. It's beautiful, well done. Okay. So, we're just going to do some um, face and get rid of some tension that we might still be holding. So, um, you know, our tongue is, is obviously, you know, massive. It's, uh, you know, really see a little bit, but it goes all the way down there. So, um, if you can, we're going to uh, roll our tongue. And breathe, inhaling, what you're doing is you're inhaling through your tongue, then you're going to close your mouth and exhale through your nostrils. We're going to do that a few times, so deep breath in through your tongue. Close your mouth. Exhale. Beautiful. If you've got tonsillitis, it says that you shouldn't practice this. Or people suffering from kappa. Okay, so the next one is um, a big cheesy grin. Yeah. So I'm taking a big, big deep breath in through my teeth and breathing out through my nose. Try not to hyperventilate. Take your time. That's just a bit too much for me. <laughs> okay, so the next one is uh, Sanasana. So um, we're going to sit with your legs open and you're going to place your hands on the floor. Fingers towards you if you can. If you can't get your fingers towards you, Take them as far as you can for you. If you get too much pain here, then, you know, obviously keep your fingers forward. So it really doesn't matter that much. But what you are doing whilst you're doing this is that you're opening your chest. So, um, you know, and you stir them. So, right, so take a deep breath in. 
And as you breathe out, you're going to lean forward and go. With big eyes, come on, roar at me. <laughs> Deep breath in. Breathe in. <laughs> Last time. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so we're going to do another um, breathing exercise now. So I'm going to sit comfortably because I really struggle sitting cross-legged. Um, so I've got a little stool. Um, I'm trying to get my knees lower than my hips. If you have already, that's brilliant. I just, um, I'm still working towards it. So we're going to now do um, um, long be long, um, which is alternative um, nose breathing. Um, so you start you start by placing, um, I'm gonna also do the Gyan Mudra in my other hand as well. So take a deep breath in with one nostril closed, yeah? Hold it at the top and then switch. So with your other finger, place it over your other nostril, remove your thumb and breathe out to the one that was held. So now you're gonna breathe in the same one, breathe in. So imagine it going all the way over your head and out the other right nostril. So you're breathing in this same side again. Pinch that side and then it out the other side. So this is called long be long. We'll be doing it for five minutes. Hey Siri, set timer for five minutes. Okay. So you're breathing in for two and a half seconds in and out. Whilst in this pranaya, imagine that you're filling yourself up with positive energy. It purifies the breath and improves the level of oxygen in your body. Your body becomes healthy, lustrous and strong. It gives you a positive attitude. It helps in clearing blocked arteries. It's said to regulate cholesterol, helps with sinus problems and cataracts and rheumatism and migraines. So again, a nice straight back and neck. Remember to relax and enjoy yourselves.
If your arm gets tired, you can change over hands. And if you're in a habit of doing long the long with having your hands down here, try and keep them a bit higher so you're getting fresh air. I have my finger on my third eye. So as we bring this um, breathing exercise to a close, when you finish, make sure that you, you exhale on your left side to finish the round. That's lovely, keeping your eyes closed, take your hands, looking up, rubbing them quite vigorously, and then placing them over your eyes. And just bathing yourself in that beautiful energy. That's lovely, well done. Okay, so we're just going to now, um, we haven't done any standing exercises, I'm aware. So um, let's go back to school. Um, so if I can have you all up on your feet, that's okay. For those that can, if you can't, you know, you can still do it chair based and um, just use your arms. And imagine your legs working. You don't have to move your legs to um, have all the benefits. So I don't know whether my head's going to be cut off now, isn't it? Right to move you a bit again. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see. Okay. So I'm going to give you the easy options first. Yes. So we're going to do our arms up and down. So just our arms. Okay. And then our, our feet. We're just going to go back. So, you know, we're just warming up. Have a big leg muscles and opening up our chest okay so this is this is um yogi jogging this is the super slow version for people that know their limitations or that haven't done anything for a while or you know recurring too much fat or you know have a, 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 have health problems so if you can you can do a little bounce as you go making sure that you're landing through your heel at the end so you're going through your toes your ball and then your heel yes so you're nice and soft. And if you want to, you can make that a little bit faster. Right, so this is what we're aiming towards. That's lovely. Four, three, two, one. Okay, so standing nice and tall. You can place our hands on our hips. I've got my fingers facing upwards just so I can stretch out my forearms because they're a little tight. You can do it any way you want to, but just open your chest, okay? So you're going to bring your knee up and down. Alternating knee ups. So use your stomach to engage. Try not to wobble. Imagine that you've got a book on top of your head.
I'm going to do two more on either side. Relaxing your upper body, opening your chest, breathing. So the alternative is your knees up and then you're going to go out to the side and place it down. Knee up, out to the side, place it down. Try keeping your hips forwards, yeah? So, you know, you're not, you're not doing this, you're not swinging your whole body. Otherwise there'll be no um, mobility. So you're just visualizing your hip socket and you're just making it bigger. So look, I've started to take my knee across and then, oops, and then over. <laughs> wobble, wobble. And then for the last few, the last four, if you can, bring your knee to the side, lift it up and then bring it in. Yeah, so take it to the side first, lift it, and then bring it in. Last one on either side. That's beautiful, well done. Okay, legs apart. Let's all put my mat. Take your legs as wide as I'll go for you. Then all you're gonna do is Remember that you're standing tall, so you're not leaning forwards or backwards, okay? And all you're going to do is you're just going to um, you angle your right foot slightly at a diagonal because you're going to lean in this direction. So you're going to go down, stretching that inner thigh, okay? And then we're going to do the other one. So you're just slightly moving that toe outwards because you're leaning in that same direction. Now, if your knee goes over your foot, that means you're going to damage yourself. So take... Spread your legs wider so your knee never goes over that toe. Okay. So we're just warming up our inner thigh so it knows what, what to expect. Nice and slowly. And then as you get warmed up, you can use your arms as well. And you can take that stretch a little bit deeper. So you're breathing out as you go down. Breathe in as you come up. This can be quite an intense one, but you know your legs are very strong, they're the biggest muscles, so they can really they can really handle this. And I tell you, the slower you do it, the harder it is. <laughs> am I right or am I right? <laughs> so we're gonna do one more on either side. That's lovely. Okay, so it's going to walk our legs in, give them a bit of a kick and a stretch, a shake. Right, so we're just going to do a, a bit of a squat. So take your feet that are shoulder width apart, yes? So they're not too wide, your toes are facing forwards, and all you're going to do is you're going to stand nice and tall, and we're going to bend our knees, just our knees. And then we're going to straighten them. So we're just bending at the knees, that's it, just at the knees. So this is how we'd squat. Now you might get some tightness in your shins. So we're just bending. So I'm going to put my hands on my hips and I'm just going to bend. I'm not leaning forwards, not leaning backwards. Again, this is really good mobility for your ankles as well and your shins and all of your lower body. So we're squatting, breathing out as you go down, squeezing your bottom cheeks and coming up. And if you want to do a contrary, you can push your hips forward as you come up, which is very good for you. And then you can bend down. So you can do this um, as, as you wait for the kettle to boil. And you'll notice if you start small and your body realizes what it needs to do, your range of movement just magically increases. So if you don't force it, it will just come by itself and you'll go lower and lower and lower and lower. Maybe not today. <laughs> so we're gonna do two more. And we are working towards coming down, you know, I mean, I'm not, I'm not very good at it myself to be honest, you know, all the way down and we'll do that later. So that's one. Lovely, okay. So this time we're going to take our um, legs out and we're going to face 
the right hand side. So take your both feet facing that way, and you're just going to bend your back knee. Oh, back, bend your back. You're going to squat down. You're not bending. You're bending your front knee. So you're going to come over to the other side. Both feet in the same direction. I'm going to put my toes on my um, back leg and I'm just bending my front knee. Oh, yeah. Really taking my time. Really feeling it in my muscles. With your breath. It's okay to feel a bit wobbly. Hold on to a chair if you need to or a wall. Remember your spine is part of your body, so keep that nice and erect. So you're not leaning forwards or backwards. I'm going to do one more on either side, make them good. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Come up, give your legs a shake. Okay, so I love this one. We're going to do chest expansions. So um, you're taking your legs wide ish, as, as wide as they feel comfortable for you. Yeah, and you're going to come down and then you're going to swing up and open your chest. So you're doing a big circle. You come down, smiling, and doing a big circle like you are the sunshine. Spreading your light. So I'm breathing in, and as I'm breathing out, I'm doing a big circle. Breathe in. So you are leaning backwards. Tuck your chin in to support your back and your spine. And really feel that opening in your, in your shoulders and your sternum. We're so stiff. Two more. Beautiful. Okay. So I'm just going to bring my legs a little bit closer together because what I want to do now is I just want to do this. So um, what you're going to do is you're just going to have your hands down by your side, do a shoulder roll. So you're standing nice and tall. And you're going to take your right hand up. So it's by your ear, yeah? So it's not forwards. I mean, if you can get it up here, that's great. And then all you're going to do as you breathe out is you're just going to slide your other hand down your leg and lean. Now you're not forcing it, so the other way. It's just a very small side bend. Just getting our body used to what we're going to do. So knit your, your whole of your, your, your stomach in. So you activate your stomach, your core, to help you support yourself. So you go straight to the side. Going up and across. And your hand is trying to slide down towards your ankle. Imagine that you're sandwiched in between two glasses of um, double glazing. Say so you're not leaning forwards or you're not leaning backwards. Just to the side. Gonna do one more on either side. That's beautiful. Okay, so now we've formed at the sides. We're gonna take our legs a bit further apart and our arms out. So you're in starfish position. Imagine somebody pulling your fingers so you're nice and tall and erect. So all you're going to do is you're going to, to keep the stiffness about you. You're going to twist. You're going to look at your back hand and you're going to try touching. Do you just go for the shin or the knee for now? So we're not going to our feet straight away. We're going to build up towards it, alternating. Keeping yourself nice and erect. 
as stiff as a board. So you're not relaxing it. Well, you are relaxed doing this, but your body's tense. So you're twisting. You can look at your back hand. We did this sitting down. So you kind of know what you're doing. And when you do a few of these, you'll realise that your body just automatically knows what's happening and you'll just increase your range of movement because now, you know, I can quite easily touch my toes and I couldn't do them to go, not on my first one or two. So always be gentle with yourself. And always look inwards as well. So when you look at somebody that's doing, a, a, you know, a pose perfectly and you're not, you know, is it, what is it that you're encountering? Is it jealousy? Because, you know, they've got their bones and their body and, and their genes. So one more on either side. And you've got yours. And you've, you can only work with what you've got. So, you know, let's all just practice acceptance and, uh, and get on with it. <laughs> yes. Um, I'm just going to stop now because I've just had a shake out and I really want to do the lactic acid shake out because, uh, um, you know, it doesn't leave your body by itself and you can massage from your elbow into your armpits and stuff, um, you know, and from your inner leg into your, to your groin and that will help it, you know, from your, yeah, anyway, it's all on YouTube. Um, but what we're going to do is something more, more fun. So, um, we're just going to work up the spine. So I'd like you to just tilt your spine and stick it out. So just this bit here that we're working, just low, just tucking your bottom in, sticking your bottom out. That's it. So we're just going to do a bit of mobilization. So you know, I'm going to do. I call this the um, the Indian wave instead of the Mexican wave. So it's a standing. And I'm just going through my whole body. I'm just going to show you from time. So I'm now bending my knees and I'm going to get my elbows in there as well. Yeah. So my elbows are going to get bigger. I'm coming down. So I'm, I'm, I'm squatting. I'm coming up, pushing my groin forward, doing a big roll. Yeah. Really working my spine vertebra at a time. I'm going to it. So one more. Click, click, click. We're all clicking. <laughs> okay, so your right leg on the ball of your foot, and you're just going to wobble, wobble your whole body, wobble like you've not wobbled before. So wobble, 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 ricochet everywhere. Give it a little kick or two, or three or four. You've got the uh, the balance. Use your inner core. That's lovely. And place that foot there, and we're going to do the same. But take your time. So come first of all on the ball of your foot, and just give it a shake. So wobble. So that wobble is ricocheting all the way into your body and into your voice as well. <laughs> this would be a good time to do some laughing yoga, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh dear, dear. Okay, so give it a shake. <laughs> I hope you're all laughing at home. <laughs> That's lovely. Okay, so we're gonna do, now this one's amazing for all that tension that we hold in our neck and our shoulders. So um, um, we're just gonna lean, lean to one side. Yeah, I'm placing my left hand on my hip and I'm just going to just shake, just shake my arm. Yeah, shake my hand, you know, wobble at the elbow. You know what you're doing, you're just shaking. And just relax into it, okay? So, you know what jelly is, you like jelly. So as you get a bit warmer, you know, I'm gonna lift my elbow up and I'm just gonna drop it down. Gently, in slow motion, do to me. And that will, and if, if, if you lean as well, that just releases all that tension around your neck. But remember to wind your neck in and have that beautiful posture. So shake, 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 shake. That's beautiful. And now we're gonna stand nice and tall and we're gonna lean over to the other side. Start with the wrist, elbow. Lifting up my elbow and just let it flop. 
moving all those toxins so we can eliminate them from our bodies. Shake, shake, shake. Okay, so this is the bit that you can do your laughter in because uh, this is where you can close your eyes if you want to, but we're just going to have a brilliant shake out. So um, you can watch me or you can close your eyes. Or um, So I'm just going to lean forwards, going to lean backwards, going to get my arms up, going to just shake, shake, arms up, arms down, anything you want to, honestly. And, um, you know, the song that always comes to my head is The Bare Necessities of Life. So you've got to look for them yourself. I'm not going to sing today. I did far too much singing yesterday. Right, I'm losing my voice. That's beautiful. Well done, everybody. Um, so going back to um, our exercises, now you're completely warmed up. We're going to go forward bends. So first of all, we have to lean backwards, tucking our chin in, opening our chest. And as we exhale, you're going to come forward into that forward bend. Just relax like a floppy doll. And you're going to come back up again. And forward. So the first few that you do, you know, just really take your time with them. Just so your body knows what it's, what's to expect. And then you'll see magic working. Because then you'll be able to touch your toes and you'll be able to straighten your legs a little bit more. You know, you're not cheating if you can't do it perfectly. And perfect doesn't really exist, does it? Because if you think somebody's doing a, a yoga move perfectly, they might be having really vicious thoughts. And that's not yoga, is it? So never judge a book by its cover. Beautiful. So we're going to do one more. And on your last one, if you can stay down there, and if you can just grab your toes or your calves or your behind your knees, just wherever you can reach. If you've got high blood pressure, just keep looking up so um, you're not letting your head drop. If you haven't, let your head drop and just try to get, just working your spine. So trying to get your nose to your knees. Keep breathing. And up you come, that's lovely. Shake it out. Okay, so this is another one that's it's good for your heart rate. <laughs> I'm gonna show you the, the very basic thing first. So it's just a side tap, yes? So this is what you're gonna do. Yeah, and then you can get your arms involved as well. So this here, is your low impact star jump. <laughs> right, so if you want to do the full star jump, or if you want to take this a little bit deeper, um, and your arms are up for it, you can go all the way over your head. You can do little claps. If you're really up for it, as you go, you need to land through the balls of your foot first. Make sure it's a nice soft landing. I'm bending my knees generously. Take the impact. You can speed it up. Beautiful, keep going, you're doing very really well. Get that heart rate up. Four, three, two, one. Beautiful, okay. And we're just going to go straight into the twist. So again, you don't have to leave the floor. My feet are just not actually leaving the floor. I'm just pretending. <laughs> or you can jump. But you're twisting. Twist, 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 twist. Ooh. Four, three, two, one. Oh, okay, I'm going to do it. Oh, good. Oh, well, that's it now. Shh. Okay. 
what we're going to do next is we're going to come down to sitting and we're going to do um, Gavalvabhi, which is really good. Um, it's, it's another breathing exercise, so we're going to do that for uh, five minutes. Um, and if you get lightheaded, just take your time with it, because um, there's a lot of people that, that really don't like this. And I was one of them. But again, if you, if you take your time with it, um, it will be just fine. So you might need to get a tissue. And if you're going to go and get tissues, we're going to use the cream again. So we're going to have a little massage. So if you've got, if you're on your travels, um, get some cream as well. Um, and we shall sit and do some kabbal buddy. So <laughs> we're going to go in the Vayu Mudra again. So it's, um, you're just um, clamping your, your first finger down with your thumb, sitting nice and tall, breathing deep. And as you breathe out, you're going to snot it out. So one stroke is one breath out. Now, your lungs will fill automatically, so you only need to focus your efforts on the out breath. So as you're breathing out, you know, really use your stomach muscles. If you're pregnant, um, don't do it. You know, be gentle with yourself. You know your own medical conditions. I don't, so. I'll put some nice music on. Set my mind for five minutes. What do you want to be reminded about? Set a timer for five minutes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Add it. So if you've had um, an operation in the last six months, you're not supposed to do this one either. And it's not, not meant to be attempted by pregnant women. If you've got high blood pressure, you should practice this gently. So we're already doing five minutes, but in the book it's suggesting that you can do up to 30 minutes of this. So you're emphasizing on the breathing out deeply. As you breathe out, the stomach will contract automatically. The exhaling will create a vacuum on your lungs, which will immediately fill with air. Inhaling will require no effort. So your internal organs, your heart, your lungs, your intestines, your pancreas, your kidneys, your liver, your prostate, your ovaries, your uterus, all get a really good workout doing this one. It works your digestive system and your respiratory system. So if you suffer from asthma, 
It also helps regulate weight loss and strengthens the immune system. Remember that your chest is lifted, you've got a nice back and straight neck, and you're smiling. I love this one because I also um, get rid of any negative tension that I have, any any conversations that I've had with people that I didn't like, anything I've watched or seen, any resentment that I'm holding on to. Just not it all out. That's lovely. So to finish, keep your eyes closed, take your hands above your head, you know what you're doing, rubbing them hard, looking up, lifting your chest, placing that beautiful energy of your eyes, opening your eyes in your hand caves and spreading all that beautiful energy. That's lovely. Okay. So what we're going to do now, we're just going to um, take your hands out to um, shoulder, shoulder length, and you're just going to very slowly, imagine very slowly that you're, you're playing in sand and you just, there's a lot of um, resistance. So you're just going to clench each knuckle and you're going to make it into a fist and then you're going to undo it. But we're doing this super slow. So spread your fingers. Clench. It's just it's lift your hands that you're clenching. You can relax your shoulders and your neck. So now that you know what you're doing, you can do this a bit faster. You can wiggle your fingers. You can turn your palms up and do it. To work your forearms in a different way. If it's too much, you can take it to the sides and do it to the sides but really play with all these um, tendons and ligaments that don't get moved as often as they ought to. You know, take your hands back. Can you see what I'm doing? I've got my palms up, okay? This is awesome because, you know, we use a lot of technology or knives or, you know, writing. There's a lot of things that we do with our hands like this. So if you can do the contrary, then that's beautiful. Really good for... Um, for you, right? So shake them out. You can give them a bit of a rub if you like. So I'm rubbing up to my elbow. I was talking about lactic acid. So this is what you do. So you can go from your, from your wrist down to your elbow. And you do that a few times on either side. And then you can go from, from your elbow in to your armpit. And that will, um, that will just release a lot of tension. Okay. So placing your hands on your, can we all place our hands on our shoulders? And what you're going to do is you're going to get your elbows together. Okay, again, super slow. You're going to take your elbows up, keep them glued as long as you can, and then you let them go, release them, and then your elbows are going all the way up to the ceiling. They're trying to go behind your back, 
Feet to the big, roll all the way. Oh, it's just so yummy. So really take your time. Brilliant for frozen shoulders and lots of other things that are on. So yeah, here we go. Oh. And then we're going to go the other way. So you're bringing your elbows together, down, pushing them behind you, all the way up. Breathing normally as we do this. Do one more. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to um, gently, slow motion, you're just going to throw your hands out from the elbow, just going to flip them out. So as your body knows what's going to happen now, you can do it with a bit more force if you want to. Just waking up all of that, cervical fluid. And then we're going to do to the sides. Sitting nice and tall. That's lovely. One more. So if you can grasp your hands by the wrists, take them up, and you're going to try taking your elbow behind your head. So I'm going to just fold it. Be nice and tall. So I'm not leaning forwards. I'm trying to lean, you know, just sitting upright. And then you're going to push with your hands, arms. So you're feeling that tension in your side here. Keep breathing, front to centre. So if you can't get that elbow behind your head, and if it's just there, then that's fine. Something to work towards, and then you're pushing, and you're feeling that stretching the opposite side here. Oh, and it feels gorgeous. So we're going to do two more on either side. Center, the side. <coughs> Last one. We carry so much tension in our upper bodies, so um, this is just beautiful. That's lovely. Okay, so we're going to place our right hand on our right um, temple and we're just going to push. You're pushing your hand in, but you're staying still. It looks like such an easy exercise, other side. So you're just going to invisibly, it's an invisible move, you're pushing your hand into your head, waking up your spine. That's beautiful. And now you're going to take your hands, clasp them, and I don't know if you can see it, but you can, you know, you can have a little massage here with your thumbs and your neck. It's beautiful. <laughs> so we're all um, imagining the sun shining on us. We're opening our chest. We're relaxed. And now we're just going to push our hands into our head and our head into our hands and really feeling our shoulders opening and all our tendons, nerve endings awakening in our upper body so we can have a fresh flow of blood. Mm. And we can imagine that sun on our faces, can't we? That's lovely, well done everyone. Okay, so we're just gonna do um, shoulder rolls, just forward. And then we're gonna go the other way. Really take your time. And if you have got any um, niggles and aches and pains, you know, wherever it does hurt, you are allowed to just give yourself a little massage. That's all your body really needs. That's lovely, well done. Um, Right, I don't like us going backwards. So what we're going to do, um, I call this one the penguin. So, um, you know, have your hands out 
And very slowly for the count of five, I want you to lift your shoulders up to your ears. So off you go. One, two. So you're aligning three, your spine, four. You're placing your arms into their sockets, five. Right. So when you get there, now what I want you to do, right, is just let your head drop into itself, into your body. And imagine you've got no neck. And just squeeze, 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 squeeze. And for a count of five, very slowly take it back to where it was. A brilliant one to get rid of um, tension. Okay, um, I'd like to do rocking the baby um, and and then we'll, we'll finish with them. Um, so I'm just gonna take my socks off because I'm gonna go get my cream then. Um, just getting it ready. <laughs> getting it ready for my foot massage. Um, and if you can't, if you're not in a position to have a foot massage, you can have a hand massage instead. So, rocking the baby. What we're going to do is we're going to grab, we did this earlier, right? So we're going to put the seatbelt on. Sitting nice and tall, very important, okay? So if you can, you're going to get your elbow locked under your knee. And then your other one, if you can, grab it underneath and you're gonna clasp your fingers together if you can. If you can't, you're just gonna grab any way you can, okay? And we're just gonna rock joyfully. And then rock that baby. And then we're gonna do some laughter. So I know you're all gonna join in. So we're gonna take a deep breath in and we're gonna laugh three times. <laughs> I'm imagining you're rocking a baby. <laughs> oh. <laughs> mm, give it a little kiss. That's beautiful. And then we're going to do the same on the other side. So grab your twin. Pop it on your leg if you can. Get your seatbelt on. Both sides if you can. Or grab it wherever you want to. Sitting nice and tall, we're just going to do a bit of vigorous rocking because the baby's a little bit upset and it loves us laughing. You love yourself laughing as well, so laugh. Here we go. <laughs> I do feel silly doing this myself, I have to say. <laughs> going to give my baby a kiss. There we go. Okay, time to... um. Get some cream if you've got some. So grab a foot, any foot. We'll start by doing the long. I don't know if you can see me actually. I need to come back. So this um the long bit here is your spine. So uh, just to you know do a couple of um, strokes on there and then working towards our toes, um, you know, for our memory glands and neck. Um, our eyes, so the balls of our feet, you know, it's all connected to the whole of our body. So um, whether you believe in this or not, just massage your feet or your hands. And don't forget to do the ball of your foot. Um, I get sciatica, so doing the side of my foot is just amazing. It's, you know, it's that pain. It's a little bit painful, but it's a beautiful pain. So I just keep massaging. I've got a friend who does this who massages her feet with a pen so she can get really deep in there. And that's beautiful. And then, um, you know, do a bit of your calves as well. That's lovely. And we're just going to rotate the ankles. Again, this is like one of the most powerful exercises you can do. Um, because it's your ankles that support your whole body. And obviously it helps circulation as well. So point your toe, bring your toe towards you. And you can do this in front of the telly. That's lovely. And then the other foot, we'll get some more cream. So again, I'm just gonna work on the long part of my foot first, breaking up my spine. And then work towards your toes. You've got your pituitary glands, your, all your brain, your, you know, your ears. There's all the nerve endings are in your feet. 
Don't forget to do the tops of your feet as well. You know, and you can find the ridges, you know, where your bones, and the hollows in between your bones, if you even massage in between them, they're beautiful. Such a lovely release. And we're just going to massage our calves. Because again, you know, our calves pump all of that blood back to our heart. So um, really important. Just going to uh, rotate the ankle. And the other way. And do it forwards and backwards. So lovely. Okay, just going to do my fingers. The hands are really important as well. So, um, you know, um, I, I, this is my favourite one that I do. So I, I, if you place all your knuckles on top of each other and just massage, um, you know, you can do the butterfly there. But this here is, a, I mean, there's lots of things that you can do to relax your uh, vagus nerve, um, which is connected to most of your body and your guts. Um, and it will just relax you. So, um, you know, even if you haven't got a nervous physical system like me, you know, even, you know, when you do it, you'll notice the changes. We all think it's fine, don't we? And then we do something, oh, that was great. Right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to um, do Brahmari, which, um, which is my favourite, because, <laughs> um, you know, I call it buzz off. <laughs> so we're going to buzz off. Um, so if you can place um, your ears, your, finger, your thumbs over your ears, and then gently place your eyes over, your fingers over your eyes. Um, and then all you're gonna do is you're gonna take a deep breath in and you're gonna place your, your tongue on the roof of your mouth so you get some awesome vibrations, okay? And um, you're gonna, you can say om or you can, you can say whatever word you want to, you know, you can set yourself your own intentions. So we're going to do it three times, take a deep breath in. Mm. 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 Lovely looking up for the last time. We're going to rub as vigorously as we can with our elbows back by our ears, smiling. Placing our hands over our palms. Oh, it doesn't time fly when you're having fun. Okay, so spread that energy everywhere. This time really on your kidneys as well, behind your back, your legs, all of you. It's beautiful. So um, we're just going to just um, close our eyes for a minute. And um, I'm just trying to find, there we go. So we're just going to close our eyes for a minute um, and, you know, I'm going to go into the Vayu Mudra again. Um, and just going to take a couple of deep breaths in. Just going to fire up our chakras, so our root chakra. Know that we're grounded. Visualize the color red. Our sacral chakra. We feel everything. We've got this. Visualize orange. A yellow for our solar plexus. 
Going up to our heart chakra. Making its way up to your throat. Knowing that you've got a voice and you're allowed to speak your truth. Without intentionally harming anybody. Going up to our third eye that sees everything. And breathing it out through your crown. The white bright light. So just a couple of breaths. Breathing in white bright light all the way from the top of your head. Down to your root. That's beautiful. Okay, I'm going to join. This, this is the mudra and the master. So again, um, you know, give yourself a good intention. I'm now tapping my heart. And I'm going to come up. I'm going to be inside my own little heart, tapping my chakra, my crown chakra, waking myself up. So, you know, whenever you feel a bit low, get yourself in your own little happy bubble of um, heart. <laughs> okay. And so as we finish here, may all be happy, may all be healthy. May everyone enjoy prosperity and may none suffer. Oh. So join with me in um, clapping. Clap. Clap harder. We're just going to, um, we are the champions. <laughs> now, are you ready again? We're going to take a deep breath in. We're going to laugh. <laughs> I hope you're joining in two more times. <laughs> you know, sometimes I'm just being a bit crazy. So, thank you for having the crazy laugh. Mm -hmm. oh, it's the best race, and it says, Very nice, class. Thank you. 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 Wonderful class. Wonderful. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Thank, thank you, Neil and thank, thank, thank you. Thank you. I can't see you. I don't know what I've done. I'm somewhere hidden away. <laughs> oh, I don't know. There we go. No, I don't know. Can't oh, see. yeah, we can see. But anyway, you. listen, happy Friday. Have a great weekend. And I'll Have see a lovely you. weekend. All right. Thank you. Weekend. Thank you for having me. More classes taken by Bon Bai and Kusaleji. And Sunday, okay. Sunday, myself. The lucky day. <laughs> Yep. Are you all right, Savanji? In a good Yes, I'm perfect. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm you had a good time off? Yeah, yeah. I went to tell all my family. You're still recording, um, Sam? You're still yes, recording? Sorry, yes, yes, yes. Still recording, yes, I know. Okay, thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.